Northern Highlands is awarded a penalty stroke in the first half of this North 1 Group 3 semifinal. The watch High Point keeper Kelsey Stoll make the save on Catherine Peebles, and we have no score here at High Point High School. High Point gets a chance here as Maureen Gill chases down the through ball, but Northern Highlands keeper Paulina Marino makes the save for the Highlanders. Now watch Marino off the high point corner as she stops Sarah Clark's blast and then she clears it away before Brittany Papa can knock in the rebound and the game stays knotted at zero. Okay, high point has another corner and again Marino makes the save for the Highlanders as she turns away Sarah Clark's shot and we remain scoreless. High point is just pounding the cage and the Highlanders have another defensive corner to defend here and Sarah Clark again works her way in but watch the nice defensive play by Frankie Lynn Ferrone as she clears the circle and we have no score at the half. All right second half action we go and Sasha Hagen sends the ball to the post but the ball pops up over to Maureen Gill who buries it into the back of the cage and high point the top seed takes a 1-0 lead over the number four Highlanders early in the second half. Northern Highlands gets an opportunity here off the corner, but the Highlanders go just wide and High Point maintains its 1-0 oh. lead. Okay, High Point gets a great opportunity here. Watch Darby Smith break in 101, but Paulina Marino comes out, makes the save, and then she stops Nikki Hull on the rebound. What a sequence there for the Northern Highlands goalie. Wow. All right, High Point's knocking on the door again on a corner. Smith sends in the rocket that beats Marino, but Frankie Lynn Ferrone makes a defensive stick save for the Highlanders. And the Highlanders get a chance to tie the game here on this Megan Weiss shot, but it just rolls wide, and High Point advances to the oh. section final for the second straight year with a 1-0 victory over Northern Highlands. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so proud we finally pulled through. It was We fell a little flat first half and got nervous, but second half we came out strong. I feel really good. I think that uh, it was a hard game today, but I think that we pulled through and we did what we had to do and came out with a win, and that's what really matters right now. I'm really excited to go to the finals again, and I think we kind of have an advantage from last year from our loss. I feel like we all know how it felt to lose in finals last year, and we never want to feel that again. Clearly great win. We made some adjustments at halftime because the other team we really felt Northern Highlands came out to play. Uh, we were off our game, made some adjustments. I thought we came out second half with a lot of power and perseverance. Um, I call it we won ugly. This game was tied at the half, but Maureen Gill changed that with a big goal for the Wildcats. It was rough. I think it was on the corner. Um, so we've been practicing them a lot in practice, so it was great to finally put in the cage. This Wildcat team is so deep and very potent. You can't just mark one player, and Maureen Gill showed that today. It's nice. I mean, we have that a lot. A lot of the times we have like nine girls who can score on this team, maybe more. So they'll try to mark someone and you really can't with our team because there's so many. And to have Maureen step up and be the one today to put it in was great. Another shout out for this high point defense back to back here in the state tournament. Our defense has been playing really well with uh, Kelsey, B, Michaela, Shannon and Sarah. She's like everyone's been really low and getting the ball out and working together. I'm just really happy about the shutouts. It's like it's more than just a win for me when we have a shutout. It's something more. It's something that's good for us mentally and physically, and we can just go real far, I think. Defense wins titles. Uh, we were a little bit back on our heels. Uh, didn't see our best performances out of some of our defenders, but clearly they're hustling back to help. Um, Stoli, I thought, came up big today. Stoll's aggressive style suits the Wildcats perfectly. I just do what coach tells me to do, basically. I, I try to be aggressive. I guess uh, ever since I was little, playing sports since kindergarten, I was always the aggressive one, going for the ball, doing what I can. So that's just me, I guess.